it's it's cumbersome. It doesn't, you know, it, it's it's hard to the noise. It makes well, none of that. People move. They sleep. They don't always sleep on their backs. They sleep on their sides. They sleep on their stomachs. Um, there there are so many different. Um, well, plus uh, this can't be real good for your, you, you know, your if your significant other of one sort or another is laying next to you and you roll over looking like this. You don't make baby, you don't make babies with us very. It well. doesn't look very good. Yeah. All right. So now we know that. Prior to dentistry getting highly involved in this, you were sent for the study, you were hooked up, you were wired up, you laid in bed, they watched you all night. You're now telling me that you can do most of those tests at, 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 at home. Well, it turns out, and this is what convinced me to start doing this kind of type of procedure. And so everybody knows, this is what they call a, a watch pad. And basically, this goes on my arm. Yes. This goes on my finger, about like that. I go to sleep for a night, and this registers with a couple of other sensors. It registers how many apneic events I had, how many times I woke up, and what my blood oxygen did during the night. Yes. And uh, not only that, it'll also measure the sleep, the stages of sleep, and how long you were in the stages of sleep. It measures the, um, the when you hold your breath, the apneic episodes. Now you told me that, that you found this because physicians that did heart studies use this. That's the reason why I purchased this for my practice because the ambulatory, which is what you take this home with, uh, it, the ambulatory uh, sleep study is the only sleep study that was used to study heart condition. Okay, Doc, so I take this home, I wear it, I sleep in my own bed, um, I find out, I bring it back to you, 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 you check it out, you find out I'm not one of the 5 or 10% of severe sleep ap people with severe sleep apnea. How do you treat it? Well, first of all, Diagnosis is the key for any medical condition, and this sleep, uh, this uh, ambulatory sleep machine, is what has been used for many heart studies. So because of that, this machine is very accurate in determining what your condition is for sleep apnea. Okay, so I come back, and I'm not one of the severe. I'm not one that definitely has to have one of these because there are a few. Mm -hmm. How do you? What What do you use to treat the the the, 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 the as apnea? an alternative to CPAP machine? oral appliances as as des designated by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. All right, I know you brought a few. Why don't you show me what they are? Well, first of all, there are over almost a hundred oral appliances that have been approved by the FDA for sleep apnea. I brought just a few examples, okay. the most recent ones. Now what is this one? This one is from Australia. This is the most recent one. And this is um, uh, basically what these appliances do, advances the lower jaw and opens the bite. Basic like the first thing you learn in CPR is to move the lower jaw forward. Exactly. To open the airway up. And this does it in a fixed manner, yet it's in two pieces, so the patient doesn't feel like they're so trapped. So I wear that to bed. I'm still able to talk. I'm still able to chew. I mean, I'm still able to basically, I don't know if I could chew, but do most of my functions. And the most important thing, it brings the tongue and it brings the soft tissue forward at night when you're asleep, when you don't have control over it, and allows the open airway to occur so you can breathe. All right, now I know you brought one that's just actually now a single piece. Uh, this is the newest one on the market, and uh, what I like about this is, is there it is only a single piece. And what makes this so effective, other than looking just like a normal night guard, is that attached to the posterior back part of the, uh, of the appliance is a bar. There are various sizes of bars, but these bars basically hold the tongue forward so that the tongue has to stay forward. It, it senses this, doesn't make them gag, which is amazing, but it holds the tongue forward so and it opens the airway. So it keeps that tongue from falling back like we saw in the video clip and closing the airway off. Absolutely. Now, you have that. You said there's, there's now hundreds of them that are, are being made. Mm -hmm. um, do you think, is continuing education a huge part of staying on top of this? Absolutely. As with everything in, in the medical and dental field, things change all now, the time. Now, any dentist, just like with veneers and implants uh, in this, any dentist can actually treat sleep apnea Absolutely. or, or do TJs. How do you, again, with this, how do you, how do you, let me ask you, how do you know, I get an appliance, I take it home, I wear it, I may feel a little better. How do I really know that it's working? Well, normally, Another sleep study would be uh, indicated, but sleep studies, studies are very expensive and insurance don't pay for any more than two. So we have a, a little apparatus that we use in our office called a pulse oximeter. Very simple, very simple. It looks like this. You put your finger in, you put this on your wrist, you push the button, you go to sleep, 
You wake up in the morning, you bring it back to me, I put it in the computer, and a report comes out and tells me about your oxygen, and it tells me about your pulse. It doesn't, it doesn't diagnose sleep apnea, but it tells me about your pattern of what happens now, in your body. Oxygenation seems to be the important thing here. You know, you said yes. to me, oxygen is a drug of choice. Absolutely. And I said, because if you don't get enough oxygen while you're sleeping, doctors have a tendency to want to give you medication mm -hmm. to make up for the lack of oxygen, which never really makes the lack of oxygen get any better. You just start medicating the problem, and you said it makes it worse. Yes. So if I'm able to wear this guard or mouthpiece or, or, or oral appliance and I come back in, I take the, the thing that checks the oxygen, I come back and my oxygen saturation remained high all during the night. Is that a pretty good indication that I'm getting what I need? Absolutely. Um, and let's say, for example, it, it, it improves slightly, but not very much. Well, there are uh, different attachments on these appliances in different positions you can place them. So you just, titration. you just you continue to fine, fine tune it. Exactly. Why do you think more people, because I know obviously, you know, I, after talking to you, I started talking to all my friends, relatives, families, everybody I Everybody seems to have some sort of problem. Either their wife complains they snore, or the husband complains the wife snore, they sleep in separate bedrooms. I mean, all kinds of, why do you think people aren't getting checked? It's, uh, it's, a, it's one of those kinds of things that are silent. People don't know that they have it. The people that do know that they have it uh, know about the CPAP, which is the mask. I was just going to say, do you think that everybody thinks they're going to have to wear one of these? They're afraid, for one thing. Uh, for another thing, they may not know that they have it. Uh, or they have it, they've been diagnosed, but they don't want to wear the CPAP. Or they have it, and they've been diagnosed, and the ball has been dropped. There's lots of reasons why people aren't, aren't uh, paying attention to but this. The but the scientific modalities of it have changed considerably. It's much simpler now to take care of, to treat, to diagnose than it was, say, 10 or 15 years ago. Absolutely, and, and the fact that uh, dentists are now involved in this is a wonderful thing. Because, like I mentioned before, we get to see the patients every six months. We can make sure, we can check out. Um, and you guys especially is basically just the head. Absolutely. You don't spend like the rest of the doctor, the w time on the rest of the body. This is mostly your specialty. Absolutely. You, the, along with the question, you, you know, are you brushing your teeth on a regular basis? Are you doing this on a basis? Are you wearing your oral appliance at night? Now, You're not wearing your oral appliance. with that said, oral CPAPs we know have a, you said 10, maybe 12% usage after a year. Something like that. Okay. Oral appliances are, you told me, close to 80 to 90 percent? Yes. So people are much more likely to use them. It's certainly simpler to wear this than in that. We're, we're out of time. Before we go, I, I want to ask you, hey, do you, do you get a lot of personal reward out of, I mean, I know you ride bicycles. Uh, you're getting ready to go on a 109-mile race ride pretty soon. I know your commitment, you know, not everybody would know it talking to you, but your commitment and dedication and focus to what you want is pretty intense. I, I, I watched you went through a little bit with the bike stuff with you. Do you get personal satisfaction out of changing people's mm -hmm. lives? Absolutely. It's what I. That's why I do what I do. I love what I do. I love helping people. It's always been a. It's, it's a pleasure, and it's a pleasure as as my um, practice grows in time and the patients grow in time. It's a pleasure keeping people healthy. All right. We are out of time. You have. We've covered a lot today. Obviously, not everything we need to. You have a, 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 a wealth of information on your website. If people still have questions, they have concerns, um, and they don't know who to turn to, if they call you, will you talk to them? Oh, absolutely. Will you personally talk to them? My pleasure. You've been watching Medical News Network. I'm Mike Wigenstein. For future information on this subject or any other, please visit our website at medicalnewsnetwork.info. Until next time, I wish you good health.